I need to not lose um, so many runs. So what are we going to do? We are going to do Alt Path and we are going to do Dogma Plus as characters that I actually understand how to play with. Um, so Kane is an example of that, for example. Let's have a nice little tolerance break and uh, in enjoy enjoy our life. <laughs> After that, that absolutely horrible performance uh, yesterday, which had some incredible moments. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I, I lost... I had a, a 22 loss streak um, that eventually made it to 26. I don't know how many times I lost on the, like, yesterday. I, I mean, I think that there were at least, like, 15 or 20. Gonna stop dying to the fire, man. Anyway, I'm excited. By the way, that story I tweeted yesterday, I know other comedic uh, legends mostly make up their stories. That story really happened, man. I went into, um the grocery store and on the way into the uh, grocery store there was a man who looked like uh, he was dressed like a farmer from the Dust Bowl and he was just standing there like looking at the cityscape with like his mouth agape wearing some wool trousers and I was like something's weird like it's not a that's not a normal way to dress in 2021 um, and then when I came out, he had a friend next to him, and I was walking the baby in a, in a stroller, and he says, Sir, how come you don't see women walking their babies anymore? I'll tell you why, because they're all at work. Um, and I just, I just walked away. Because, I mean, what do you, I'm, when you live in a, an urban environment where you occasionally get, like, accosted by weirdo strangers on the street, um, you, you learn pretty quickly, like, if somebody says, sir, you don't take your headphones out and go, huh? You just keep walking. Unless, you know, the, the, trust me, they'll stop you if, if it's important. Um, hey, we're good, we're good. Um, he might have been a time traveler, it's possible. But I, I didn't, I, I really struggled with how to get the punchline across in the, uh, in the tweet. Because what I definitely did not want it to come across as is, like, nature is healing because of this guy's chauvinistic attitude. Um, but I really did, like, on the one level, it was annoying. It's always, like, a little bothersome, right, to be annoyed in public like that. Um, but on the other level, it had actually been so long since I'd been harassed by a random stranger on the street that I was like, the pandemic is finally, like, we're, we're nature's healing, man. We're, ma we're getting back to normal. I haven't been yelled at on the sidewalk by a complete stranger since 2019. So I'm like, we're, we're back, man. So the, the city is getting back to life. Punchline landed. Loved it. Loved to see it. It was, it was weird. Like, do you know the, uh, have you seen that bad Tom Holland, Sebastian Stan movie? I think it's called The Devil All the Time. Came out maybe six months ago. Um, no? Right answer, by the way. Uh, it, uh, it's called, uh, The Avengers. It's, uh, he was dressed exactly like the muggle preacher in that movie. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he, he was in Harry Potter, and it, he was, uh... Oh, we're just doing the beast. Man, that's easy. He was a muggle child, and he was a little husky, and then when he got older, he thinned out, and everyone's like, you won't believe how handsome this guy is now? Yeah, Dudley, Dudley Copperbot, or whatever his name is. Neville Chamberpain? What's <laughs> Neville Longbottom? That's it. Yeah, yeah, the guy from the Queen's Gambit. Neville Longbottom. <laughs> Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. Chamber pain. I don't, I don't know anything about England, man. Those are two different things. Anyway, 
He's actually Dudley Dursey. See, I told you. I knew he was named Dudley something. Dudley Bubble and Squeak? What the heck is Dudley Dursey, man? Anyway, it doesn't matter. He was dressed like that. He actually looked like a black and white photo from the Great Depression came to life. So, and again, I, you're not judging the guy on his appearance to be like, oh, you know, hey, this guy's not dressed in, like, the latest fashions or anything like that. It's more like when you see somebody dressed very incongruently with the time and the weather, you start to be like, do I have to be concerned? And, uh... The answer was no. I went into the grocery store, then when I came out, he was like, you know, hey, this guy's gotta hear this, but... Take it is good now. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah, dude, that's what I, so I talked about in today's Isaac episode. I apologize for the duplicated content. But, like, that's what I was saying is, like, it's when you see someone, it's a 35 degree day in July, and you see somebody wearing a winter jacket in before 35 is actually cold. Fahrenheit, by the way. Um, Anyway, 35 degrees Celsius, you see someone wearing a winter jacket outside, you're like, I gotta cross the street, because this person is freaking loco. Yo, Sibs, thank you for the raid. I watched you play some some Project Hospital. It, it looks uh, fun, but also, like, too complicated for me. But I'm, I'm just going to be honest, I've also watched you play, uh, well, Minecraft for one, but Satisfactory, and I think you just got a, you got like a better... Um, like tycoon brain than me for logistics and stuff like that. I'm real I'm I'm mostly the like just trying to be the court jester. I'm I'm you know you're like Harry Potter and I'm like Neville Chamber Pain. I I know my role. It would be management hell. Yeah you, you should give hundred days a try the the winemaking simulator you never know. You it might it might strike you Stop making fun of my polo shirt, please. I, I've said it many times. All of my streamer merch is in the um, is in the laundry right now. The benefit of having two days off is like I'm so looking forward to how much laundry I'm going to do this weekend, man. You don't even know. You could do oh, my my devil deal. I do so much laundry, man. Gonna go stand by a barbecue? Probably not, but like... Eventually. Eventually, man? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Eventually. This weekend? Probably not. I don't even know if I should be playing in the eddy room, but... We're gonna give it a try anyway. This is sensible. No Mass Effect Legendary Edition today? No, um... Uh, Mass Effect is not a good game. And I... I finally, someone's saying it. Okay, that... Maybe I took it a little too far. <laughs> but I don't know, like... Look, I like some stuff that you can laugh at. Like, I like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um... But I, I think I feel about the Mass Effect games that uh, people who hate Marvel feel about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Where, like, you know, I, I played Mass Effect 1 and 2, and I was like, they're, they're completely, like, better than just good. Like, they're, they're above good. But people are like, I'm gonna cry when the opening theme song starts to play. I'm like... Come on, man. What is this? The end of Black Panther? Like, I, I reserve that for, for actual emotional moments. <laughs> Glad you made the joke for us. You, you gotta learn how to make jokes at your own expense. Otherwise, the stream will do it for you, mate. Okay, well, this is a great start. Um, down to the next floor. <laughs> Damage down and tears down. An item room that was worthless. <clears throat> Whoa. 
good start. If we die, we die. Eddie room didn't pay out with anything except a 100% chance of an angel deal that we couldn't actually manifest. And then a troll bomb came to kill us. But on the bright side, we do have little Hashi. So, no, I'm not going to be... Help me. Uh, I'm not going to be playing the Mass Effect Remastered trilogy. Like... It's not negative, but I already played Mass Effect 1 and 2 on the channel. It's, it's not my scene, you know? I, I recognize that now. In my younger days, when I went to school, I carried lunch in a bag with an apple for my teacher because I'd always get a kiss. Always got mad when the class was dismissed because when it was in session, I always had a question. I would raise my hand to bring her to my desk then... Something, something, something. It was never much. Just a something, 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 and a... I'm drowsy? Okay. Great, amazing song, man. Passing Me By by Farside. Help me! <laughs> this this room is, a, is an actual killer. Come on, somebody's gotta go, dude. Come on, man! Lil Hushy was not in the right horizon! What, what a shot, what a shot! He's pogging. This goes out of the person who said, NL, you think you're gonna win a run today? Absolutely. Okay, now don't die to comedic timing. So, you know what? You know what the most powerful item in Isaac is? The human brain. Yo, yo, this sucks. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> hey, 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 what, what do you do? Watch it there. Watch it there. Whoo. No HP. Okay, that's good. I wouldn't want it to be, like, too easy. I wouldn't want any ill-gotten gains. We needed the booster pack, man. It's Joker. Fool? Hanged man? Chariot? Chariot something. Chariot something. Can of corn? For a dollar? Name a can of corn. I did see the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones uh, tribute song today. I will uh, ask you to never reference such psychic poison in my chat ever again. Um, it's, it's one of the worst pieces of, of media I think I've ever seen, at least this year. I still have a dream rooted in the American dream. Like it's, it's a, uh, it is just a, uh, it's a disaster. It should not exist. Whoever told them to, to make that needs to pay. Um, not with their lives, but you know, they need to give me money for the psychological damage I suffered listening to it. What the heck is even that? Help me. <laughs> what is what is blue key? <laughs> Stop typing pog. Start typing. What it does. Type the wiki link, okay? Hey, drop a fry maybe? Hey. Hey, leave your soda cup on the ground. Hey. Owned. I thought about, I, I got into it last night. I started, like, I, I read a YouTube comment that was like, I don't understand why it's funny, but the Raven bit makes me laugh every time. And then just in my head for like half an hour, I was just going, hey, drop a fry. Hey, mister, would you drop a fry? Hey, Mr. Fryman, won't you drop a fry for me? I'd like to eat a French fry. Something, something, eat a French. <sighs> yeah, baby, frick. Frickin' experimental pill, baby. Yeah. 
Freaking no damage, baby. Freaking secret room, baby. Don't even get me started on birds, man. Although it's pretty sick. Like, it's a great time of the year to live uh, in BC. Because Canada geese, kind of annoying. Not gonna deny it. But when the Canada geese have their little goslings and then their goslings are walking around, that's where it's like... It's very nice to be taking a walk, man. It's about our eighth useless item of the game. Um... As the master of diagonal walking, if you'll excuse me briefly, I'll just, just grab this and get out of your way. Go to the dice room. I I want to, but I just want to fight the boss first. Because um, we can get a deal with the devil from that, and then like maybe get another deal with the devil on the next floor, and then still hold this joker card. Because, like, I mean, we're... Bro, we're, it's a Catacombs 1. It's 14 minutes. 14 minutes in on Catacombs 1. That's a... Uh, it's an insult. That's a fast run for me. You, you bad, then. Don't compare us. You're leaving her voicemails. I'm up in the DMs. We're not the same. You're writing their letters on parchment paper with fountain pens. I'm sending her Snapchat messages at four in the morning. We're not the same. I don't know anything about... Are Snapchat and, and WhatsApp the same thing? Or are those two different... Those are two different things. What's the difference between Snapchat and WhatsApp? I'm 33, I don't know. It's okay, you and me, we're still young. At least we're not born between 1980 and 1985, which would make us so-called geriatric uh, millennials, who are very well suited to lead teams in the new hybrid work from home slash uh, office environment. What about Sips? I don't know, I, I didn't write the article, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to rag on Sips, I'm just saying, boy, today is not a good day to be born between 1980 and 1985, because uh, you got called out as being a geriatric millennial, who is capable of uh, leading teams in the hybrid work-from-home-slash-office environment. I love gaming. I love to game. I think we got him trapped in like a in a loop, man. I can't be hurt as long as I'm just chilling here. Oh crap, man. I hate leading teams in the hybrid work from home office environment. Well, I certainly hope that you're not uh born from 1980 to 1985 then because you're well suited for that we can't control our lot in life just shoot it dude i i can't be hit as long as i don't shoot at it i can't be hit so why would i why would i risk it i, I want to get this deal with the devil so that we can actually get out of this it's not stalling at all i'm like it's just survival, man. Okay, absolutely take. We'll take it because we we need to swing for the fences. Even if we miss, we'll land amongst the stars. I told you, strongest strongest item in Isaac, human brain. Wouldn't expect you to understand, though. That's as deep as I'm going. One of those runs, hun? Hun? <laughs> you said huh, but I said hun. <laughs> wonder when the last time I was called a hun. I think it might have been when I when we got stranded in Minnesota on our way back from PAX one year. You love to see it? 
That makes sense. They do be saying Hun there. Whenever a boomer talks to me, they call me Hun. Really? I I'm I'm old enough now. I get um, they call me Sir. No joke. But I also think it's possible, like, I've gotten um, old enough that people start to call you young man. As, like, an, like, a little insult. When I was, like, 25, they hit you with the sir. Then when you enter your 30s, they're like, excuse me, young man. And you're like, come on, there's no need to be rude. Young lady. all I got though. I do have another anecdote. I got two anecdotes, okay? First one, why was I at the grocery store? Um, I didn't have to be there. I, I, I go grocery shopping like just about every day just for something to do, right? Um, I bought nine different flavors of LaCroix yesterday. They had individual cans in the in the cooler section. I finally mustered the courage to, to buy the, um, we kind of want car battery, I'm not going to lie to you, or 9 volt. Um, mustered up the courage to get ready for uh, either a taste test or a flavor identification test. So I, I have flavors of LaCroix I've never uh, sampled before. I'm, I'm eager to give it a try, but they're, they're burning a hole in my fridge right now in more ways than one. Oh, we'll, if we do it, we'll do it on stream. Don't question it. Um, and then the other thing is, I I had the opportunity to sample a new product from the grocery store. It was a Perrier caffeinated sparkling water mixed with yerba mate. Uh, as your resident influencer, I'm here to tell you, do not purchase this product. It is bad and it tastes like uh, motor oil. I do not recommend it. I give it zero points, and may God have mercy on your souls. Three of the same pill. <laughs> oh my. How do you know what motor oil tastes like? I'm like Gary Vaynerchuk, man. I don't say that something tastes like something unless I've sampled it. You wouldn't understand the dedication I have to personal branding. Is Yerba Mate even good? I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it's good, but it's very fun to drink. Um, because it's in that metal gourd. And sometimes fun is more important than taste. Just, add, just think about fun dip, for example. Pogged out of my metal gourd, exactly. We've had like literally like 250 jokes already in chat. Hey, going golfing after the stream? Hey, drop drop a golf ball? Hey. Hey, hey, when's your tea time? Hey, drop a golf ball for me? Bro, it's not even an insult. Like I, I get that it's like a lighthearted jab. First off, don't say are you going golfing after the stream? It makes it too easy. If you want to be perceived as clever, by the way, want to be 411. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Um, if you want to be perceived as clever, you should make a joke that alludes to golfing without naming the sport uh, explicitly. So just say, hey, when's your tea time, Phil Mickelson? That, that, see, that's how Malf would do it. Secondarily, pick a sport that I don't want to get into because I want to get into golf. That's a boomer joke? Okay, let, let me make a Gen Z for you. Hey, when's your tea time, Phil Mickelson? <laughs> I wanna die! Okay, moving on. Kill me. I am going to go back to the shop here. Hey, drop a five iron?
I do want to golf, though. Dude, golfing... I know... It, I talk about it once every three months. Golfing seems... Sick. Right? You get to go outside. You get to play mini golf, but like on a huge course. That's a lucky penny. You gotta get it. Oh, I see. No, you're talking about... I see. You're talking about this. There's all sorts of uh, uh, weird sports now. I, sh I guess I shouldn't say weird sports, but like, you know, I've been outside, you know, in, in the outdoors more often than ever. Just taking the baby for these walks, by the way. Amco the Terrible. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Um, you see a lot of weird sports now. So I, I thought the weirdest sport that existed was slacklining. That's not the case. There, there are weirder sports now. Like there's one where there's like a little trampoline. And then, like, six people stand around the trampoline in a circle, and they have, like, a ball, and they smack the ball into the trampoline like it's, um, like, like, volleyball, kind of. I'm not, by the way, when I say weird, I don't mean, like, bad. I just mean unusual. Like, I, I was never introduced to it as a child. So, apparently, that's called spike ball. Um, and then I, I was outside yesterday or two days ago, and I saw a, a few people playing this game. Um, and what it is, it's, it's kind of like, I would describe it as like beer pong minus the beer. You play it on the, on the yard or on the grass. And you set up like a bunch of little wooden posts. And then you take turns throwing a stick at the posts to try to knock them over. Coob. Yeah, cub. That's it. Cub. <laughs> Thank you. That's Cub, also known as Viking Chess. Yeah, I was watching some people play that, and I'm like, you know what? That, sounds, that looks like fun. I gotta. It, it's tis the season to get into more. Uh, though, like, I, I'm, I miss physical games. Like when you're a kid, you play so many physical games. Like you play badminton or like you know volleyball or bocce or something like that i haven't played like a like a physical not real sport but activity in a long time should play some disc golf man i'm not saying i'm a good disc golfer but i am an above average frisbee thrower like i i got the snap I can put the hook in the slice on it. He can play the high C all night long. I never got into hacky sacking, um, but we did play the game. Uh, we, we played a lot of keep up in uh, in elementary school. You know where you have a soccer ball and you just try to juggle it for as often as possible. That was fun. It's kind of like spike ball minus the trampoline. I hit an ace last week playing disc golf. Did you make sure to tip the wind? Hey, tip the wind. Can I say something without... Uh, well, can I say something rude without you perceiving it as judgmental? I'm going to say it anyway. One of the reasons I don't want to, or historically have not wanted to get into Frisbee-based games is because of the fact that um, the only time I ever hear about them uh, is when the people who are playing them are, like, way too intense about playing Frisbee and the kind of culture scares me. But the older I get, the less I think that that's a valid reason to not uh, check it out, if that makes sense. But the same thing is, is kind of true with... I mean, I guess we'll hold it. Same thing's kind of true with, like, slacklining. Um... And again, this is not to indict all slackliners. But there was like a, a, a slackline got set up like high in the mountains north of Vancouver. Uh, and the helicopter search and rescue organization that like saves backcountry skiers and stuff like that. Um, was like, hey, you got to let us know when you put these things up because like our... 
helicopters could crash into the slack line and explode. And then the guy who ran like the Squamish, uh, which is the town, uh, like slacklining outdoors group was like, you don't know, you don't own the outdoors, man. You don't. <laughs> Mother Nature didn't give you a license to like fly your helicopter here and save people's lives when they get stuck after backcountry skiing, man. Anyway, that's all I got. I'm not holding it against the slackliners, but that one dude has a nasty vibe, man. You can't kill the slackline. This run's got a chance now, man. What's next? A license to <laughs> make toast in our own damn toaster? I thought it might have a hitbox or something. Hell no! <laughs> I do. Oh, man. Kiss me every time. Personally, I think it would be nice if uh, drivers had to exercise some base level of competency to... Boo! Boo this man! Okay, anyway, this, we have fun here. What did you have? What did I, I have no memory of what's happening on this run at all. At all, at all. Was that a bit or was it a real event? This is a reference to, um, I believe it is the Libertarian National Convention in advance of the 2016 American presidential election. Uh, the moderator asked... What's your opinion on being required to have a driver's license uh, to operate a motor vehicle? The first person said, hell no, to uproarious applause. The second person said, what's next? A license to make toast in my own damn toaster to uproarious applause. The third person, who ended up winning the candidacy, I might add, just to not paint this in like as horrible of a light, I guess, as it could be seen. Um, said, personally, I think it would be nice if drivers had to demonstrate some base level of competency to be able to drive. And then he held up his hands like, like this, like, don't shoot the messenger. And everyone booed him. They, they, they booed this man. What if you gave me an item that could be used instead of an item that would make a usable item better? Personally, I love getting run over. Um, well, why'd you choose to walk there? <laughs> Super guppy's paw. Anyway, that's like all I got. What, what was that? Oh, slack line. Yeah, I don't know. Ultimate Frisbee would be cool. I don't know, though. Like, I... I just, I simply do not know. I just want to golf, man. Leave the discs out of it. Leave, leave the disc in your discman. I want to, I want to do like real golf. I've been watching too many dash cam comps on YouTube. Yeah, it's like, I, I honestly think that we're due for like, um, more awareness in society of how the content we consume affects our like mental well-being. Because I... I used to watch like so much Vancouver dash cam footage and I, I still watch it like on occasion, but Eventually, you know, you get to the point where you're just like Almost afraid to be like out in real life because you're like I'm definitely gonna die like Like people genuinely just don't know how to drive at all and they're like getting getting each other killed out there It's true, but it is like, you know it, the odds, the incidence rate of it is relatively low, you know? It's just that there's also a lot of it because there's a lot of drivers and a lot of driving for that matter. But it is a great guilty pleasure. Oh, no, Public Freakout, dude. I watch Public Freakout all the time, but that's because Public Freakout doesn't scare me. It just, it makes me excited about seeing something like that in public. Because <laughs> I'm, a, I guess, a bad person. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I've, I've watched uh, Canada's Worst Drivers like from time to time. Can I? I can make it through here. Canada's Worst Drivers is is a hilarious show, but it also does scare the crap out of you, because people will be in like they'll be like John was in seventeen accidents in twenty eighteen. So his mother suggested he comes on the show so he learns how to drive and doesn't die. And then he's like, um, I'm never going to stop drinking and driving and using my cell phone and closing my eyes and shaving while I drive. And I'm like, what is wrong with you, man? You've been in like a dozen accidents in the last calendar year. And you're not motivated to change at all? I have like a spiritual crisis when I cut somebody off. I'm like, I'm so, I'm, I'm so fucked up. <laughs> Sorry, the F word. It's, it, but it's you can't uh, give me a vulgar language warning because it's from Uncut Gems. It's a quote, so it's not vulgar. True. True. It's art, sweetheart. Did you see that tweet that went viral that was like a tier list of A24 actors that I could beat up? Or I, I get out of here, I hate you. I had, I had so many uh, questions about that tier list. Like, for example, um, they had Adam Sandler in like the would beat me up tier. But they had Robert Pattinson in like the 50-50 tier. And I'm like, what is I mean, I guess it's maybe just designed to be uh, viral. Like maybe they put some, because that's what the tier lists are there for, right? Is to generate some controversy or something like that. So that, that people engage with it. And it's humorous. It's like it's a victimless crime. But I was like, really? Adam Sandler in the like would probably beat me up tier, but Robert Pattinson? Batman is in the, like, 50-50 tier? I'm like, this... And then people in the comments, I'm like, dude, we gotta get outside again. Because people's barometers are all messed up. People were like, Adam Sandler has a burly body. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He has a... He's like... <laughs> no no offense, he's like, you know... 5'8", 190, man. Like, is that's not the kind of proportions you gotta be scared of unless he's actually a professional boxer. Like, me against Adam Sandler would probably be, like, 50-50. And Robert Pattinson would kick the crap out of me. And I'd ask him to do it. It's just, they, they did get one thing right, though. Like, Timothy Chalamet, no chance. No chance. I don't care if he is 6'11". I'm sending him to the mat like Ben Askren. Come on, Ben. How are you gonna let NL do you like that? You need the tinted skull. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Do you think you could take Jake Paul in a fight? Under no circumstances. Absolutely not. He, he would, like, actually tear me apart. No question. George Clooney was also Batman, so that invalidates your argument. Bro, George Clooney would kick the crap out of, like, 95% of the people watching this. Are you crazy? He's, he's a little salt and pepper now. Don't get me wrong, but, like... Like, George Clooney is your... Is your example for, like, why Batman isn't necessarily strong? Like, he's, like, 80 years old? He's probably, like, 57 years old. He would he would still kick the crap out of me, I'll tell you that much. That's not that old, man. I mean, like, it's... Geriatric, but, like... Like, 60... Th there's modifiers you have to apply to age, okay? One of them is like, what era do you live in? If you were, if you're 60 and you were born in like the year 1855, I don't even know what you are, man. Candy heart. Like 60 year olds in 1950 
are are dust, dude. They're toasted. No question. But 60 in 2021 is very different. It's not as people have been taking better care of themselves. Then you got to add uh, the Hollywood factor. So this guy, he's rich, basically. And then secondarily, he's done some acting roles and was like, or uh, some action roles, I should say, was incentivized to keep in shape, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We need the full card. We might as well pop this right up. <laughs> Your audience is like 20 to 25 on average. They would destroy him. I honestly, I want to see some of you. Ro you, you it, I, if we get in a George Clooney versus chat fight, I guarantee you'll be so confident until you both take your shirts off. That's all I'm saying. George Clooney's going to, he's going to have his sinewy chest muscles like glistening in the sun. He's going to dummy you, then he's going to make you, like, smoke an entire carton of cigarettes, just to teach you a lesson. If he was 70, that's a different story. Like, anybody in this chat, if they had to get in a physical altercation with Harrison Ford, they would defeat him. It pains me to say it. I wish it weren't the case. But George Clooney is 60. I'm, I'm taking him over 50% of chat, for sure. No question. I'm 25 and bench 350. Okay, well, enjoy, like, benching George Clooney. And then he's going to kick the crap out of you. Because it's not a contest of who can lift the most metal circles. Hey, G George, George! Do me a favor, okay? Get real stiff and then put yourself between these two little T-Racks. Check this out, George. Ugh! We're fighting, said no one ever. Okay, hold on. I got to use the fool card here. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe George Clooney could beat me up. But I could lift him up from a standing position on the ground plus i'm 0.3 centimeters taller than him he's got no chance <laughs> what if i'm 27 and an ex-professional fighter okay well it depends did you get fired or did you quit from fighting but either way, you would probably you would be the exception. You'd you'd be the Malcolm Gladwell in this situation. Fired? Okay. Well, I don't know. I didn't, I'd still probably bet on you, but I'd have to look at your record. Yeah, there are people in chat who who could probably beat up George Clooney, but it's certainly not more than average, in my opinion, at least. It's not fifty percent. What if I'm ex-military? Are you like a uh, ex-marine or are you ex? you know, engineer in the Navy. There's a huge difference. Yeah, were you in... <laughs> Did you do software engineering for the Coast Guard? Or were you, like, you know, part of SEAL Team 6? There's, there's... You know, there's a lot of variables that need to be considered here. Excuse me? Ex excuse? <laughs> anyway. By the way, many people in this chat could beat me up. There's no question about that. I'm just saying, you put some respect on George's name. I'm willing to take a chance and break away like Kelly Clarkson. Yo, did you see that Katy Perry was in that new, uh, she was in a music video with Pikachu? Good for her, honestly. Is she still around? Bro, I'm pretty sure she's like 34 years old. What do you mean it's gone? 
How could you have put our savings into Dogecoin? You don't understand. Elon tweeted that he was definitely gonna be the Doge father on Saturday Night Live. It was a sure thing, and then he stabbed us in the back. You're just jealous, because you, all of your hodlings are in fiat currency. He's, so He's just using you to make the Tesla balance sheet look better. You don't understand. I put all my doge in the booba, and I'm already up 40% today. I can't keep this going, but you get the idea. <laughs> Yoink. Yoink. Yeah, we don't need, um, we don't need the cracked key. Could you take Elon in a fight? Look, I'm not in great shape. I think it would... I'm not going to say it would be... On site. I think there's a chance. I, 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 would, I would put myself at over 50%. With training, he would absolutely destroy me. I think he would, like, reanimate... Bruce Lee or something like that. Just to get the perfect Jeet Kune Do training in. Um... But I think if 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 it was a spontaneous throwdown, I th I think I would I would give myself a, a greater than fifty percent chance at least. That's a mimic. Yeah. Wait, Bruce Lee's dead? Oh no, dude. I think Bruce Lee's been dead since like nineteen seventy eight. <laughs> He's been dead for like forty years. He died in 1973, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no! Why are you supposed to dodge that, Edmund? <laughs> it's not possible, man. Why is our range so low? Is this like a, a, a lacra whatever effect? Or is this a, a monstro's lung effect? We do a little trolling. I don't know, lol. Well, I appreciate the, the honesty. Bro, I don't want to touch these enemies. They're the worst enemies in the game. I will be leaving now. Goodbye. Actually, the spiders might be worse, but those guys are still pretty bad. I knew it was coming. There is there's a chance that we are uh, going to lose this. I think it's definitely possible. It depends on a couple of things. Can I... I would love to guppies paw my bone hearts. I don't know if they can actually... If we can do that, though. But if I can guppies paw my my bone heart, then when I sleep at home, I'll get three spirit hearts, which is actually a considerable advantage. You can, I believe. All right, well, let's give it a try, then. I suppose, yeah, you're right. I could even just bomb my bone heart to death now that I think about it. it. Would probably be worth it. Does NL play anything else? Hey, somebody missed the landmark uh, 100 days stream yesterday. Excuse me. Insulting. You didn't see me take over Italy with the with Chardonnay 2025? It got a 64 out of 100 from Wine Spectator magazine.
Bit of a slow game, huh? Yeah, it's like, I mean, the Brimstone get was really good, but it was really slow for a while here, for sure. It took us like 20 minutes to get through the, the caves, too. Dunk. Dunk, dunk. Dunk, dunky, dunk. Dunk, key, dunk, key, dunk. <laughs> Mom's lipstick? Okay, so here's, I, I've been mashing the space bar. So here's, here's the question, right? Sleep in the other bed? Does it, does it matter? It matters? Hold on, should we lose our bone heart? Whatever, dude, just send it. I'm, I'm, the other bed heals you. Mm, might you find police work there, Lou? Okay, let, let me let me lose my bone heart first. I thought the other bed also healed us, though. No. Oh, dude, that's great intel. Alright. What aura do we have, man? That must be Tears aura. It's not bad though, like, even though our range is, like, scary. We don't have to land every shot. We can just keep shooting, and there's gains to be gotten from that. Because we're making more uh, tiers to begin with. That was totally fine. Don't spin, you freaking Beyblade. Yo, you sound like the guy outside of the grocery store yesterday. This song is amazing. I get it, you like MC Ride. That's a lot of damage, man. I can't believe that went as well as it did. Okay, so we get three spirit hearts. We get two spirit hearts. Okay, that's some damage. Now this is where you just... Every time. This is where you just gotta remember every bit of damage you take is as valuable as every bit of damage you take. The damage you take later is not any less valuable or any more valuable, which is a very roundabout way of simply saying, don't take damage early and then be like, we'll make it up later. Just stay focused at all times instead of like, not really paying attention and then trying to double down later. Dude, the damage is Absurd. What are you talking about? Well, you know, it's like when when you go down like 1-0 in a hockey game or something like that, and then you lose 4-3. I feel like people are way less likely to attribute the loss to the first goal than they are to the last goal. Even though they're all worth one point, you know what I mean? See, when when you die when you die by one hit, it doesn't matter whether you didn't get hit at the end or you didn't get hit at the start. You would have won if you didn't take that that individual bit of damage. So I think we just gotta, you know, base it's just like play well, forehead. That's all I'm trying to say. Play well, forehead. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. It's fungible. You're not funged. You don't respect the fungibility that serves as the foundation of... You're, you're gonna die, like, so quickly. We're gonna win easily, and I deserve it. That's the best part. I-I can't move! 
It's, he's doing too much damage. I literally, like, I couldn't move. Whatever, we can still win. I, I didn't have, like, the speed to get out of the way. The comedic timing was too much. Don't drop on my... Let's go! Frick around, get killed. Owned. Owned. Then suddenly, the sky above <laughs> cracked open. Pound of Flesh has been unlocked, even though Edmund put out the hit on us.